I shall want mock him. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who rule well, who have taught us his truth to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai, and honors and citations to the elect Dachim doing these works in sincerity and in truth. You know, especially those out in the highways and byways and those that support. So, um, yeah, I'm going to entitle this vocab played out Malone, you know, and, uh, pretty much, uh, Apostle Tahar, <laughs> inspired by the po Apostle Tahar, you know, going into him, going into that guy, and he's, he called vocab played out, man, you know, thus the title vocab played out Malone, and that's absolutely right, man, you know. That guy is played out. Uh, uh, So-called Christianity is played out. You know, it, it it was a great stronghold, which I I should grab that scripture. You know, our weapons uh, of weapons the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You know, well let me grab that and come back to this one Ezekiel thirty three. All right. Um. Yeah, man, because uh, so-called Christianity. It was a major stronghold upon our people. So this is Second Corinthians 10, 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations. And this is why, you know, this guy, Vocab played out Malone. <clears throat> this is why he keeps sweating us, you know, because we're destroying uh, uh, their imaginations against us. Which part of their imaginations is to uh, uh, keep us, you know, uh, um, in these destroyed mentality, this destroyed mindset, okay? To go along, to get along, man, you know, to not rise up against the evildoers for the Lord's sake, okay? To be ashamed of the gospel. This is, this is the imaginations, some of the imaginations that they imagine against us. They want us to stay ashamed. They don't want us to claim our true nationality. You know, they want us to keep calling ourselves black. They want us to keep feeling inferior to the so-called white man. You know, they don't want us to come into this truth. They don't want us. Vocab is a racist, man. Okay. Vocab alone is a, is a racist. All right. You know, you want to throw that word racist around. That's such a spooky boogeyman's word. Right. That's a no, no word. But guess what? Vocab Malone is racist. Why? Because he doesn't want our people to feel good about ourselves, man. You know, getting back to the uh, Ezekiel 33 and uh, 32, right to the point. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice. And can play well on an instrument. Okay. It says, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. See that? Now, they hear the words, but they do them not. But at the same, you know, in the same, within the same scripture, right? It's nonetheless, this truth is still a very lovely song to them, man. You know? So again, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice. Okay? So, man, who don't love a woman that could sing her ass off, man, to a nice beat? It's just, don't get some wine in your system. The scriptures say music with wine is like a, 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 um, a ruby set in gold, roughly paraphrasing, which is what? Beautiful. Beauty. And that's how this truth is to our people. You know, which is why even Vocab Malone admitted that soon the Israelite movement, you know, so he says, which is which this is just really the truth. But that the Israelites is going to surpass Islam to battle Christianity uh, um, for the top so-called religion on the planet Earth. Because he knows that he's played out. He knows that our, our people are coming back to the truth, He, you know. Because this is a very lovely, this is as a very lovely song to our people. It gives our people hope. 
It makes our people feel better about themselves. You know, it's making our people eat better. Like this truth, man, since I came into this truth, man, what? Can you imagine if we never came into the truth and we followed vocab? I wouldn't be half the man I am today, man. Oh, praise and glory to you. How about Shema Shai, double honor to the apostle and elders of the great millstone on down. I wouldn't be as half of the man I am today. I wouldn't have as much discipline. You know, I wouldn't have as much diligence, as much knowledge, as much wisdom. You know? Damn. I wouldn't be a, a, like such a strong man that I am today. I'll probably be somewhere uh, 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 begging, pussy begging, man. Kissing a woman's ass somewhere. You know, instead of treating women in order, dealing with women in order, I'd be uh, pussy banging or something, man. You know, I'd be telling my boys, uh, um, uh, let me see, let me let me check in with wifey. You know, everybody going out Friday. Let me check in with wifey. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, smoking weed or something, man. Just doing some nigga shit. I wouldn't be half as the man I am that I am today, man. If I never came into this truth. So vocab, you can kiss my ass, man. You can kiss my Israelite ass, bro. You want me to stay asleep? You want me to stay in that horrific mind frame? You want me to stay in the sunken place? You kidding me? Get out of here with that, man. It says for they hear thy words, but do them not. And lo, when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. And that's how you know it's talking about this truth. Because the prophets is what? And that's another thing. Isaiah 61. You played out, bro. For real. You definitely played all the way out. You know, our, our people are waking up. We're not ashamed of the gospel anymore. All right? We're not ashamed to call ourselves Israelites. And we're speaking out. Do the spirit power you how about your mouth shy? And that's what he doesn't understand. This is the great awakening. This is yeah, how about your mouth shy returning to his people, man. This is a great family re family reunion. You know, and you out here hating. Cause you cause you can't get in. So this is Isaiah 61. The spirit of the Lord power is upon me. Why you why you think? We go out there week in and week out. Hot, cold, warm, cool, whatever. Why do you think we go out there week in and week out? Starting with the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone on down. Diligently. You know? Why do you think we always make it our business to go out there? Because this is a new fad? Or maybe you think we do it because we don't got nothing better to do. Or maybe you think we do it because... We're just angry black men. No, it was a spirit put upon us to do this, man. It's a, you gotta, it's a certain spirit that was put upon us to do this, man. That's why this is Jeremiah. What's that? One and three. One and five. Salaki. Before four. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. See? So before we was even born, before we was put in our mother's womb, the Lord, you know, however, you know, uh, uh, however you can imagine, but we was in the spirit world, and the Lord said, all right, you're going to be a prophet. This is your job, you know, you're going to wake up. You know, eventually you're gonna wake up from that zombified sleep you in Christianity. You're gonna come back to your nationality, and I'm gonna make you a teacher, man. You know, the Lord literally put it within us before we was even born to do this, which is why again Isaiah 61 and 1: The Spirit of the Lord power is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, and that's what we're doing. You know, and to the meek of what of our people. Says he have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Who's brokenhearted, man? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and natives, man. We are the brokenhearted. Last hired, first fired. You know? 
so on and so forth, man. The so called white man, you're not broken hearted. For what? This is your kingdom, man. Don't they got the term called white privilege? How you broken hearted, but you got privilege. You got white privilege. Matter of fact, I was uh at the job, and at the job there's a TV, you know, and I was scrolling through some channels. And think like a man came on, which that's the spirit, man. Because I was dipping in and out. I only had it on for a second. But what came up was a scene where they said, uh, you had the uh, so-called white boy. He looked like the white boy. And he, and he and they talking about credit. It was like, yo, don't white people start off with like a 700 credit? You know, they start off with good credit, man. All right. Now, now behind every joke is truth. So how are you broken hearted? This is your kingdom. It says, and to proclaim liberty to the captives. Obviously, we're the captives. We're the children of slaves. Our forefathers came here in uh, 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 cargo slave ships, man. And yet, we're still here today. That's why scripture say, ye are yet this day in your captivity. We're the captives. So, core man, you are not a captive, bro. Just stop. It says, in the opening of the prison to them that are bound. See, so the point is, you know, we, we've been set up to uh, uh, teach to, to, to uh, teach our people the good news, man. But vocab doesn't want our people to hear that good news to help us feel good about ourselves, to help us come back to our power. He want us, wants us to stay asleep. But that ain't going to happen, man, because so-called Christianity is played the fuck out. You know, that shit is played out, bro. That shit is for the... Uh, 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 for old lost Jakes. That's for old lost Jakes, man. So just stop, bro. This the newer, newer uh, generation, man. You know those that were deemed to come into the truth, man. You know the young men. The Lord talked about the young men. Even the apostle and elders of the great millstone was in his thing since young men. You know we, hey, we see the truth, man. All right. So Lord, when this is edifying, man, I'm gonna say.